it is the beginning of the Third Age. After having cut the one ring off of Sorin's hand at the Battle of Mount Doom, Isildur marches home with an army of Dundane. Although Isildur lost his father, Elendil, during the battle, his three sons survive and are marching home with him, Elendil, Aradun, and Sirion. Although the men are tired after the brutal battle, they are looking forward to get home to the realm of Arnon. Isildur had the opportunity to throw the One Ring in the flames of Mount Doom, but due to the greed of men, he has brought the ring with him, thinking it will grant the men of Arnor infinite power. To get to Arnor, the men have to pass through the marshlands of the Gladden Fields, as well as the Gladden River. They are only a few days' walk from home. What Isildur doesn't know is that the One Ring attracts all evil creatures of Middle-earth. A large band of orcs from the Misty Mountains have set out to ambush Isildur's host and retrieve the One Ring. The men of Arnor hear horns from the horizon, but are yet to know what terror awaits them. Isildur orders his army to halt. The men have spotted the orcs, and Isildur's horse battalions charge head-on into their army to give their melee units time to line up in a defensive position. The soldiers create a line formation. The swordsmen protect the left flank and center, while two units of spearmen defend the right flank. Like this video if you want more content like this. Behind stand hundreds of Dundane archers, ready to deliver heavy missile damage upon their foe. Orc pillagers charge into the line of Dundane swordsmen. The battle gets more intense as tons of more orcs rush to the front lines. The orcs are not the best at manual, but they outnumber the Dundane by 5 to 1. Shortly, Lots of orc rabble charge into the left flank. The men are now being heavily attacked on all flanks. On the utter left flank, the horsemen find themselves surrounded by orc spearmen. Although they are outnumbered, the orcs are no match to them. The spearmen on the right flank, on the other hand, are in a bad position, they can't make good use of their spears. The enemy's hooking weapons quickly thin down from their ranks. A battalion of teeth of Sauron approach the spearmen, too. The armor and weapons they carry are of the best gear made in Mordor. At this point, total chaos has era on the battlefield. But the Dundane are tough in battle, their lines are not easily broken, although outnumbered. The swordsmen are slaying the orcs with ease. Although the archers have poor visibility, they manage to kill a few orcs in the rear ranks. A unit of orc pillagers have crept upon the archers of the left flank. Several horsemen come to their rescue, and they fight side by side. Although skilled with bow, they master the skill of sword, too. The orcs have managed to cut a hole in the center of the Dundane ranks and are slipping through. The men lose their defensive control of the battlefield as several orcs slip through and unexpectedly flank the archers. Most of the archers have equipped their swords and prepare to resist the mass of orcs. Another battalion of horsemen rush to aid the archers. Although the left flank has lost control, the right flank is sturdy with a high morale. until a dozen of swordsmen suddenly retreat, leaving an open hole in their ranks. Orcs rush through and fight the remaining swordsmen from all sides.
Thankfully, a group of 40 elite archers lead by Isildur's three sons, Elendur, Aradin, and Surion, brutally slay those who dare attack them. These men prefer killing their enemy with bow and arrow, but are swift and deadly when in melee combat. A battalion of orcs are hiding in the bushes, waiting for a perfect time to flank one of the Dundane swordsmen. The horsemen are at this point heavily outnumbered. Luckily, Isildur has unmounted his horse and joined the ranks of the swordsmen. They now start to panic. There is no way out from the cluster of orcs, and one by one they fall. Isildur's sons and their elite units still stand, slaughtering their enemy one by one. But due to them being outnumbered, they are cut off from the rest of their army, and all of them slain. Hundreds lay dead on the battlefield. More and more orcs arrive. At this point, the men are outnumbered by 10 to 1. The Doom Dane gather around Isil to protect him. The One Ring cannot be lost. The entire left flank has been defeated. Only a handful of men are left, and Isildur commands three men to leave the army to make sure their kingdom knows what happened. Isildur and the remaining men has gathered on their right flank, hoping to survive the attack. In a desperate attempt to jump into the waters, Isildur and the last of his men rush to the river. Here, Isildur is brutally slain, and he loses the One Ring into the river of Andor, where it would be picked up by Smeagol, also known as Gollum 2500 years later. The last handful of men is slaughtered, and the orcs have won the battle, but they did not find the one ring. Please remember to like and subscribe if you want more Lord of the Rings content. Thanks for watching. You're a real G for watching everything.